Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Survival Craft. I am Lord Proteus, and we're here today at the Guardian Bowl. We're doing a little bit of work, getting our hands dirty. Got to do the work if you want to have the cool stuff. That's right. I'm talking to you. Anyway, we're going to crack on here and get down to business. Show you what uh, we've done so far. Oh, it's amazing how many Guardians are spawning in that spawn spot. It's just great. So what we've done here is, uh, I've done a little bit of dig out, and as you can see, we've we've got quite a bit of work done. Still got a long way to go, though. Long way to go. But I've created this little elevator here. There's a slime drop elevator with, you know, the water to go back up to get all the way to the bottom. So this way we have the ability to get back up to our temporary base there while we're working. Just in case, because you, know, you don't want to get stuck at the bottom and you know have to kill yourself and get spawned all the way back to the top. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a little bit of digging out, a little bit of this and that, get some work done, hopefully get our slimes working over here, doing their thing. And oh no, no slimes yet. Oh, there's an Enderman. What's he doing there? Hmm. Anyway, let me crack on, get some get some work done, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I I came to the realization that I needed to take out all those sea lanterns before I started getting any further, and that presented a little bit of a problem, because as you can see, it's really dark, really really dark. Oh God, the creepers are gonna come. There's already an Enderman already there. So what I did was I went and crafted up a bunch of torches. Because I'm going to need a bunch of light in order to do this. So let's crack on and get some light in here and get back to work. We'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, a bit of a progress update. As you can see, I've cleared out quite a bit of this level here. But, as you can see... We're still a long way from the bottom. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on, get, a, get all this done, and I'll uh, see you guys in a little while, and we'll check out what we're planning on doing for the day. And back. we're back. And after many hours, a lot of sweat, a lot of repairing of my pickaxes, a lot of dropping off and almost dying, getting mauled by slimes and shot in the back by arrows from skeletons and getting blown up by the occasional creeper. We have done it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The dig is complete. All the way down the bedrock, 62 by 62. <sighs> a lot of work. A lot of chests. A lot, I mean, everything is just full of materials. And I've, I've got stuff that I've dumped off in my sorter. I've trips back and forth to the main house. But let's drop down here and take a look, see what we got. Now, you notice I put this little elevator in here in one of these columns. I'm, I'm trying to debate if I want to do all of the columns straight down or if I just want the corner ones and this one for my elevator. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll see how it looks. But we built this bridge over here to our little guardian drop. And as you can see from below, there are slimes everywhere. There are tons and tons and tons of holes in the walls. I'm going to have to light all that up. Go exploring, light it up, make sure nothing is spawning in there. But we are basically in a really good spot here. And as you can see, I've already la outlined the perimeter of the floor. We're going to put a floor in. We're going to light it all up, make sure nothing spawns down here but slimes. I mean, we're probably going to put in a big slime drop, seeing as how there are three slime chunks in this area here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to properly put in a pretty big slime drop and then a focal point with an iron golem so they can do the cheese grater thing on a cactus and we get tons of slimes. Um, I forgot a chest up there. That's full of stuff. I'm going to have to take that down. Anyway, what I'm thinking of doing is once we get the floor done, I'm not sure what I want to do about the walls. I might, I might glass them up, glass up the holes. Once I get it all lit up, maybe, I don't know. Um, 
I'm probably going to do some modification to this too. And turn it into an XP grinder as well as just a, a loot drop. Because, I mean, as you can see with all the amount of stuff we were doing and all the dig out we were doing. I mean, we've got tons of fish, tons of prismarine crystals. We can, we can make lights and prismarine blocks for days. But what I'm thinking is I might make a small drop right there for a skeleton grinder for tons of arrows. I mean, I've already got a mob grinder and I've got another project coming up that is going to involve redoing the mob grinder because the current one as it stands with the recent changes doesn't spawn as fast as the old ones used to. And I've come across a new design and it's by a, a longtime YouTuber. His name is Skippy6Gaming. And Skippy has, has put out a video and I'll, I'll put a link to the video in the description here. But basically what it is is he's calling it the Illuminati Grinder. And I've already built one in creative, and it's it's amazing. It's amazingly fast. I mean, it's it does have a little bit of redstone, so it is a little bit more expensive than your average builder's economy. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, probably going to make a separate video on recreating that grinder in place of where my current mob grinder is, which means you guys are going to get to see the whole process of, you know, destroying the old one, building up the new one, testing it out, you know, tweaking it, adding on to it if, you know, if I see a potential for some extra stuff that we could add into there, but with that being said, um, yeah, we still got a lot of work, ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot of work, so, I mean, if you're looking forward to watching the progression of what this is going to become, then I would suggest subscribing because I'm, I'm going to be putting out some videos. Um, I'm planning to do a couple tutorials, you know, a couple of features to do adventures, you know, things of that nature, building some stuff, having some general fun in Minecraft, and, you know, doing what we love. So if you want to see that kind of stuff, if you're really interested, hit the like, hit the subscribe, share it on social media, help the channel grow. That would be cool. But, for now, I'm going to get to it, get down here, pop on this floor, get some stuff done, and when we come back, we'll take a look. And welcome back, and as you can see, we've got the floor put in. I decided that I was going to do a half slab floor all the way around. Try and control the amount of spawn coming down so that we can make this slime farm super efficient. As you can see, they're still spawning down there. I don't know why they're still spawning. They're not supposed to spawn on half slabs, but it doesn't look like anything else is spawning, so that's a good sign. So what we're gonna do is, eventually I'm going to get a slime platform, a couple of platforms up there with a dropper, and, you know, a kill zone so that I can get all the slime drops put into one little place there and get everything set up and then once we do that, we'll, we'll probably, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking maybe, maybe put some designs on the walls. Let me knock, some, knock down some of these walls here, put some designs in, you know, pretty it up a little bit. Maybe even out this glass here. So we still got a lot of work to do, a lot of stuff going on. But that is all the time I'm going to have time for for this particular video for today. So, as always... Thank you to the subscribers, for those who have subscribed already and liked the video. And for those of you who like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, share the video on social media. It helps the channel grow, helps me get recognized, and helps me continue to keep bringing you more content that you want to see. And as always, if you want to see anything specific or you're, you like something that you, I haven't showcased yet, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want. Let me know what you want to see and what kind of stuff you're looking for, and we'll, we'll work something out. We're, we're planning on doing some tutorials here and there, and maybe a couple of uh, update videos. I noticed Minecraft did an upgrade, update today. I'm going to have to go check that one out, maybe pop a video up on it. But for now, see you guys later. Catch you on the next show, and I am out.